Hi guys, it's Beth and Kristen from Blue Apple Art Studio and welcome to your third tutorial. So today we're going to do something very simple but very effective. We're going to be doing some printing with some different fruits. Yeah. So hopefully you're going to have um, most of these ingredients at home. We're basically just going to be using fruit from your fruit bowl. So we can we use a potato? Yeah. Limes, lemon, orange, but you could also use like an onion or a kiwi fruit, grapefruit, anything that has a nice cross, cross section. And then we also need a chopping board and a knife. Yeah. And acrylic paints, some paper, paintbrushes, and that's about it. So we'll, you can pause here. We'll give you a minute to go and gather all of the things that we'll need. And then you can resume when you're ready. Hi again. So hopefully you have all your um, piece of fruit and yeah. objects ready to go. Yeah. So we're just going to start by literally just chopping these in half. And then with the potato, we are going to do something a little bit different. So Beth is going to work on that. She's going to cut out a shape in the potato and we're going to use that to stamp. So I'm just cutting, um, not all the way through the potato, just very um, finely on like a top layer. And I'm actually making a star shape. Yeah, and whilst Beth does that, I'm going to get into stamping. So we do find that um, the less amount that you have on your lime or your fruit the better it stamps. So I'll just show you. It's good to have, if you can have a spare plate, to just kind of rub a little bit off before and you just push it down and stamp. And we do love the different effects of having different colors on them. And layering is really a really good technique to use. Yeah. And if you have really big sheets of paper and you do this, this would make absolutely beautiful wrapping paper. Can you imagine getting a present wrapped in that? or even like a card or something like that. That is beautiful. And the lemons and limes, because they have, you know, those different wedges um, and different veins, they make really interesting prints. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So this is my potato print. I've just cut it out. So it's, there's, you can see that, you know, it's just that kind of top portion that's cut out around the star. Then I'm gonna dip it in the paint. I'm going to get a few different colours. And then just go straight on the paper. And we really do love like the layering and using all the different colours. I feel like it is just so effective. And you get these beautiful sheets of, you know, paper. And they're just really stunning. And something we actually also found that we could do with these sorts of prints, because you can get so many different like colors and shapes and things like that, is we made a memory game out of them. So we just cut out a few pieces of paper and then um, stamped the same one twice. And then, yeah, you turn them upside down and try and find the matching pair. So that's a little fun game that you can make or some cards or wrapping paper. Um, really simple, really effective. And we hope that you've enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time. See ya.